my lord. Now what? Now what's going on? Oh, look at it. Look at the color in there. Hyper white. Let me tell you. Look at the color. It's bouncing out. You can see the color, the light bouncing off of the bell. And it's, I've sanded it down and it's got dirty, it's not even painted or shiny. You can see the light reflecting off of it big time. Holy. Well, I think she's going, uh, she's going rocket ship right now. Took me, uh, this is the second batch of wood. The first batch I put in there was, uh, pine slabs. And they, I didn't realize they were all wet and, uh, resinous. Covered in, uh, like pine sap and stuff like that. And what I was, I was getting a little bit of smoke out the chimney. With the wet resinous wood. And uh, my my new riser pipe is made out of uh, my new riser pipe is made out of uh, dense fire bricks like this. So after after the the riser warmed up and after I put some dry this piece here is hardwood and this piece is softwood, but after I put some better dry wood in, she uh, the heat is kicking out big time. She's putting out the heat now. And it's not smoking now. It was smoking earlier. But like I said, that wet resinous pine wood and the, the bark was stuck to it. And the, I peeled the bark off and it was all wet inside. So don't try to burn wet wood in one of these. Like I've done it before and you can hear the wood sizzling a bit. But you really want your wood to be seasoned and dry. Holy wow. There's an amazing amount of heat coming here. But this, like just to show how safe this stove is, I could sit on here. I could sit right here, no problem. I can run my hand over that if I, if I don't take too long. But the, the bell, I got the heat exchanger on here now. And I got the oven attachment on there. The oven's just starting to warm up. 325. Yeah, it's dirty. Give me a break. I'm just doing testing out here in the shop. And this um, this oven lid's been sitting out here all summer long. So, yeah, it's dirty. Just like everything else I work with. <laughs> Anywho. It's burning really clean right now. I'm going to get the temperature gun. A little trusty here. And uh, the core is only 64. <laughs> 64 Fahrenheit. It's been out here in the cold. The stove's only been running for half an hour. Maybe 20 minutes. I don't know. Probably half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour. The stove's been running for. And uh, let's do, uh, let's measure the heat halfway up, halfway up the heat exchanger. 339 on the cold side. Let's check the hot side here. 437 on the hot side. That's because there, you got your exhaust here, so you have extra thermal layer on the back side because your exhaust puts out heat too. Exhaust is putting out, uh, whoa, 290. That's pretty, that's pretty hot. Uh, looks like the oven is up to 350 and climbing. I was going to take a measurement, I was going to take my laser and read the cooktop, but I noticed that right around the edge here, because I have a 3 inch gap, <clears throat> I have a 3 inch gap, so I noticed that the heat around the edge here is very similar to the top, because of my 3 inch gap. The, the smaller your gap is, the more concentrated uh, it'll be in the center of your cooking top. 
but I have a pretty big gap. Three inches is considered pretty large. We're getting about 489, probably around 500 on the cooktop, but um, the cooktop is a little bit thicker. It's like seven mil or quarter inch or something like that. So uh, I'm not sure if the cooktop is getting quite that hot. I'm amazed that some of the paint is still on this tank. I don't know what kind of paint it is, but it must be some good stuff because she's putting out some heat. 422. 470. Starting to warm up in the burn path area. Uh, this stove is a, is a cast core, and it's a huge cast core. So it's a one-piece giant cast core. The riser is separate. The riser is made of dense fire bricks. The riser is 19 inches tall, um, plus the depth of the plus the depth of the refractory or the cast core. So it's um, nine or 18 inches tall plus another seven inches deep before the I think it's seven inches deep I'd have to measure yeah I'm pretty sure it's seven inches deep so anyway it's um, the fire brick riser is nine, 18 inches tall and uh, the cast core riser section is seven inches tall so it's seven inches deep before it goes into the burn chamber Looks like she's slowing down a little. Ooh, that's hot. Hot enough to melt your popsicle. <clears throat> I noticed that this stainless steel window seems to warm up almost as quick as the back, I guess. Doesn't really feel that warm yet. Check the exhaust again. 260. Clean as a whip. I can see fly ashes though. There's actually uh, fog coming off my breath. I'll show you. Can you see that? Fog coming off my breath. It's really rainy and miserable and humid outside and cold. The leaves are falling off the trees. And it's actually cold and damp enough today that I can actually see my breath. But um, this thing seems to be working good now that I've got some good dry fuel. Wow, has it ever slowed down? I guess it's still going pretty good, I guess. It's kind of quiet. I'm not used to how quiet this one is. A lot of them are loud. What's our oven at? Holy oh, shoot, she's still climbing. 400 almost. I could cook a pizza in there, no problem. Of course, I, I already have cooked a pizza in here. I've done it before. If you haven't seen that episode, you need to check that episode out. That's pretty cool. I might do another one someday. Well, I'll definitely do some more cooking, another cooking episode sometime soon. But now that the weather's getting colder and uh, my oven has... Um, the external temperature affects the internal temperature even though there's a slight there's a slight layer of insulation in there but yeah this is only a barbecue lid like a charcoal barbecue lid 
but it works perfect for an oven. I'll show you the cooktop. That's the cooktop there. So yeah, uh, 10 minutes. Looks like I'm going to have to add some more small stuff in here. You can still see a hyper glow, hyper color, like a bright color in there. Anyway, I got to feed this monster, this feed this dragon here. It's hungry. And uh, these big chunks aren't, they're not going to keep going for much longer unless I put some small stuff around the sides there. So yeah, I'm going to go get some small dry chunks and add the fuel to the fire. Still burning clean and hot, but now is looks like it needs looks like it needs some more. Anyway, everything's